ho, ho. <laughs> Whose village is this? <laughs> oh, oh, Santa down, Santa down. Aisle two, Santa is down. I just wanted to pop in and give you a quick update on the acupuncture process because I know I've seen a lot of comments asking about how it was going and I think you wanted to know like what it's like and does it hurt <laughs> which were my two questions before I had gone into it too but I wanted to wait till it had been like a good amount of time before I gave my opinion on it so it was fair and I've been going for about a month now once a week so maybe like four or five times I've been and the good news is I can honestly say that I think it's helping. Like I'm not cured by any means, like I don't not have pain anymore, but I definitely feel like there's a difference and I'm feeling better now because I've been doing it, which is great. Like that's that's amazing, that's amazing news. So there's like three main things that they do when I go. I, every acupuncturist is probably different, so like don't take my word as the rule, but there's the actual acupuncture, which is the little needles they put in. There's moxa, which is like burning little herbs, and then there's cupping, which is like the suction glass cups to bring uh, blood to the surface to heal. So the acupuncture is probably like the most typical thing you think of, um, and that's like really tight. Like they're so small. I thought they were bigger than they were because I didn't want to look at them, but I was like, can you just show me one so I like know what's going on? They're so tiny. They're the thinnest little things ever. And as for whether they hurt or not, a lot of people told me it doesn't hurt, and that's kind of a, kind of a lie. Mm -hmm. It's such a scale depending on where you get it. So there's a lot that get put in my back, and I literally can't feel those. Like I cannot feel them at all. But then she puts some like around my ankle, and those are very painful, like maybe like an eight of 10. But the thing with acupuncture is um, it only hurts hurts for like the quick second that it's going in so even if it does hurt it's like very temporary pain but the thing with me that I don't love about it is like it's very much a mind over matter thing for me so I just get, get very stressed the whole time that the like needling process is going on because I just I don't know I do not like the idea of needles like in me or near me or any of that like it feels very similar to if you've ever gotten like an ear piercing or any sort of piercing and you're sitting there on the table waiting for it to happen it's like that before piercing stress where you're just like I know there's a needle coming I know it's happening so I like feel that way for the entire time that it's going on and I know it doesn't hurt and it like like it's not gonna hurt for long or any of that and I know it's helping me but it's it's definitely like an internal thought that I'm just like oh my goodness needles stress <laughs> so if you can get over that it's probably definitely not bad at all the next thing is the moxa which is like they're tiny little herbs that they burn like near the skin but they put cream on you so you don't actually get a burn from it and I don't mind that at all I actually really like it it smells really nice it smells kind of like campfire-esque and herbally and it's very warm like I think some people might find it too hot but I really enjoy the heat so I don't mind that at all and I really like it I think the whole thing of acupuncture is just different methods to bring blood to the surface or the area because the blood is what helps heal um so I, I like that one a lot. And the third one is cupping, which is like these glass jar things that they, um, they light a fire in them very temporarily to remove the oxygen. So when they put it on you, it's like lack of oxygen. So it creates suction. And they can do the, this at different strengths. So some might hurt more than others. Yeah, it is pretty painful, but I don't mind it. It doesn't stress me out the way that the needles do. The only thing about that one is that it does leave these like rings on wherever you get it done. Like this, um, what's the word? I don't even know how to describe it. If you look at any picture of what cupping is like, um, there's like these red rings that it leaves for like a day or two. It's the blood that got brought to the surface that just needs to dissipate over time. But that well, that one's like, it's not the worst either. But overall, uh, I go for like an hour and I really do find that it has been helping. So if you have any sort of like chronic pain or anything, like I'm not a doctor so I can't tell you to do it, but if you've been nervous about doing it, I can tell you it's not that bad and it has been helping me. So I hope that answers any of your questions. If you have any like more burning questions that I didn't answer here, you can leave them below and I might get to them next time. But yeah, that's how it's been going and I hope you're having a great day so far. Hi guys, it's Tuesday evening and I am staying late at the loft after work because there's a project I am working on um, that I want to try and do. I don't think I'll get it done all tonight, but I have this week to finish it. Two reasons why I'm doing it here. One is this office has much more tools than I have at my own house. And two, because it's a gift for Austin and if I do it at home, he's gonna see what I'm doing or he's gonna be suspicious. One of the gifts I wanna give him this year is 
a advent calendar, but it's a beer advent calendar. So all 25 days are gonna be different um, unique beers or craft beers that I still need to pick up. But uh, I saw this idea on Pinterest like forever ago, but they weren't, <laughs> most of them weren't executed that cutely. So I have an idea of how I wanna do it. I basically wanna build like a wooden crate that they all sit in with like different coaster lids that all sit together that count from one to 25. And that's kind of what serves as the top of the box. And I don't know, I just thought it'd be like a really fun gift to do. And I know it's not Christmas yet, but the point of an advent calendar is you get it at the beginning of December. So I have like a couple days make it because December 1st is this weekend. So that's my plan to tackle and get started tonight. I have kind of the plans for it all drafted out in my head. <laughs> so we're gonna attempt it and see if that all makes sense. Essentially, I'm gonna build like a four-sided crate with a bottom without a top, but then I wanna make this like insert piece that's like different holes that essentially the beers sit in so they all stay organized and they don't all like fall to one side, if that makes sense. That's the part that I'm most unsure about. I think I wanna do it with this three-inch hole saw drill bit that we have, but this thing can be a little clunky to use or like it's hard to be precise with it and I essentially need to do like 24 holes all beside each other so wish me luck on that one but yeah I think this is a really cute idea because a it's like personalized because you can get them whatever they like to drink and b it's homemade or DIY which that's like my favorite kind of gift ever is when someone makes something or someone thought about you personally for something they tailored it towards you so I'm really excited I'm hoping it comes together in my head it's really cute so um wish me luck cue some building time lapses now I had to draw this rectangle like literally one, two, three times to get a measurement that I already knew the answer for. Uh, do I even DIY? Do you even DIY, bro? Probably like the simple part, but also could have been the most problematic because there's a lot of measurements. But basically, it's one bottom piece and four sides and a lot of screws in the bottom. I only did so many screws because it's gonna be filled with a lot of heavy cans in the end. If you're just making a crate to make a crate, you probably don't need that many. But now onto the part that I'm not so sure about, and that's the little <laughs> insert piece that's gonna keep everything organized. I'm realizing I could have just like built it so it was exact so you could fit all the cans tight together and there'd be no wobble room but that's that felt hard too so choosing maybe the lesser of two hards I don't know okay let's get to drilling some holes wow okay work that actually worked though let's test it this is just so thin. I don't know how it's not gonna break going forward, but this is the wish me luck hand symbol. <laughs> going to go get what even was that water bottle oh i just heard like i know that sound um <laughs> we're gonna go get a tree we're gonna go maybe cut down a tree probably that's the plan that's why we're driving far from the city otherwise we would just go to home depot go. that's fun that's fun but you can get a tree many places in the city but if you want to cut down one down you gotta drive so that's what we're gonna do also becky what are these they're, I, I still wear them. I'm sorry, they're shedding. They're, some of the jewels are missing, but they stay hold, held up really well. So cute. Throwback to the best DIY ever. Best DIY ever. If you guys haven't seen that video, we'll link it here, probably. Daniela will link it here. <laughs> link below. <laughs> Thanks, Daniela. Here. Where? Oh, that's, not what, here. that's not the answer I wanted. We're at a tree farm. Oh, in Milton. Oh, I didn't know for a second. I don't know. <laughs> guys, I want some of these for my home decors. You know these like like weedy stuff? Sometimes they're a little feathery looking. I want them. I think back there. Hi guys, it's Thursday. So I'm gonna out myself. You guys remember this shirt, and I know you do because every time I wear it, everybody comments like, hey, hey, I know there's a stain under there, and I'm like, guys, shut up. Don't tell anybody. But um, here's another stained shirt we got. Of course you're not gonna be able to see it. It's right here. 
But here's just a hack for you guys. This is my necklace. It has a perfectly sized little circle. And it's just too short though. So I added a little extender. And since I'm wearing turtleneck, it's perfect. It'll cover it. Ooh, it's a small chain. What is everybody whispering about? I don't know. Our small jump ring isn't that small. Whole place. Okay. I think I fixed it. Oh no! It's too short. I did it. What stain? Sick. Sick. Wait, show the vlog of my back spots because in case they see it. Hold on. It's from acupuncture and I You got acupunctured. So if you see it in the Law Fives episode, then you know. You know. You know. You know. Law Fives isn't going out till Christmas though. Just so that all the vlog fam knows. You early know. You early know. You know in advance. Oh, hello lady. Okay, we're in the middle of filming um, more Law Fives stuff. But since we have everyone here, especially Ian, who helped us shoot all of the Print My Pet show, it's now completely finished. We've edited all the episodes and they're up. If you don't know, we have an awesome Facebook show where we um, DIY stuff for really cool pets, all different kinds of pets. But that show has been going on for many weeks, us filming it here. But it's all completed, so we decided today's lunch will be our official wrap party for Print My Pet. So good work, everybody. It's also kind of a wrap party for a lot of us, but not really. I guess we're not done. Or editing no. it. <laughs> Still there. It's going. It's going. Don't worry. But good work. Literally everybody, every single person around this table helped to make this show happen. And, uh, and all of our pets. Yeah, and all of our pets. Thanks, pets. Thanks, pets. Okay, good work, good work. Now to eat some birds. Holy <laughs> mustard. Okay, it's Thursday night, and my plan is to finish this up tonight. So what I did since you saw this last is I made these little um, like three and a half inch by three and a half inch like wooden coasters almost and they're gonna sit on top of all of the cans and act as a way to kind of hide what's underneath. So it's a surprise each day and I'm gonna write the numbers on each one of them. So it's like one to 24 for all the days of December, counting up to Christmas. And the other thing I did was I added these black handles here. Uh, these are just from the hardware store. They're like five bucks each and I screwed two holes in and put them in. So how I'm gonna do the numbers now is by using a wood burner tool and just kind of freehand them. Hey guys, it's <laughs> Friday. You know this. It's also Claire's birthday. And we're doing a group lunch. We never do this. Well, we never do it. We never leave. We never leave the office. And we're at a vegany vegan place. Look how cute. Look Can how I cute. Like yes. Some of your pork. I just want to know um, what it is. Sorry, my what? My your vegan pork. Full pork. Full pork. Yeah, go for it. You never had it before? I don't know. Yeah. Shut up. Oh my god. It's not real pork. It's all in the sauce, right? We've talked about this. Yeah. Raw chicken or cooked chicken has like no smell. It's all the sauce. <laughs> you you like the sauce? Kimchi mac and cheese. Chicken. Chicken. Yeah. Chicken. And waffles. Oh my god. Look how pretty. Yeah, I like it. It's really good. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Claire. Happy birthday to you. Nobody likes me when I'm 23. But we like you a lot. Make a wish. Yay! Woo! Oh my gosh. We they like me. And we tried to make it like a fancy, funny plate. And no, it's really cute. <laughs> Even though I messed up there. Oh, and you you wrote it. You didn't get the the yeah, girl. Um, DIY Claire. Did you insult my friend, please? And this is a dairy free cheesecake. Because we know you're on a dairy free diet. We're seeing how that works. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Thanks. Okay. Let's eat it now. Let's eat it. Okay. This is big plate problems. Here we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hold. Oh, Hold for. <laughs> 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 Here you go, Justin. Oh, oh no, we're giving away episodes. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, what? I don't know what you're talking about. What tree? <laughs> oh, that. I was talking about the living room. Like, I think it's coming out before. Okay, it's a busy day. What are we doing now? We are recording our podcast. Oh my god, I don't want to show you guys because this is a future episode of Off Vibes, but 
we made a space for the podcast. <coughs> it's great. We did. We're so close, so you can't see anything. But we got microphones. We got two of them. And it's exciting. Okay, bye. Hi, guys. It's Friday night. And you will probably remember a while ago we went on that trip up in Algonquin. We were camping for a week. And we were there with essentially... I swear every time. We were there with a bunch of people that we didn't know, but we got to become really good friends over that time of camping together in the, essentially the wilderness. And we decided that we should have a little reunion after the trip was done. So that's happening tonight. We invited a bunch of people from the trip over to our office. Some people couldn't come, but that's okay. Maybe we'll do it again on the future. And we're gonna have like a little dinner, more like finger foods-esque. It, it was gonna be like a dinner dinner, but then we decided we're gonna do a charcuterie board. Some people are gonna bring um, like pastas and salads. So I went out today and bought a bunch of ingredients for said charcuterie board. And I'm gonna put that together now. And we can't show people our space. Well, we can show. What can they see? I guess they just can't see the podcast. You can't see upstairs, which you wouldn't. And then. I mean, we have. I mean, we have a month left of vlogging, not being able to show the there's a Christmas tree we put up, but the actual funness of seeing that all come together will not be spoiled by you seeing the tree. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Fun little Christmas special coming eventually. So let's get to doing that. Meow. Okay, here we are. Is the spread worthy? Yes. I wish we had more mason jars or glass or something. Mm -hmm. Also, I forgot my cheese knives. No, oh, so we have these sort of steak knives, I guess. <laughs> Such a spread that it had to go on two boards. Whoa, look at this <laughs> Wow. Seriously, do blueberry jelly on your brie next time. It will like change your life. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. So. Can we just wait for our friends now? <laughs> just waiting for my friends. Hey guys, it's Saturday morning, and I'm really hoping that we can do some Christmas Eve stuff today. I really wanna get a tree and put that up, but firstly, it is December 1st today, so I am gonna go to the store and grab all the cans I need to fill this advent calendar because I didn't wanna do it too early because I didn't wanna leave them outside to get too cold and freeze potentially because Cache Canada. So I'm gonna go grab them now and then pack it all and then I can bring it back and sometime today give it to Austin and hopefully he likes it. Okay, let's go. All right, I have this in the back of my car, so I'm literally gonna assemble it now because I have no better place to do it. So yeah. All righty, here it is. Obviously, not all cans are the same height, so some of these stick up higher. I thought they were all the same, but I guess not. <laughs> but this is completed, and I'm glad it's done, and I love it. Let's get this little one, Austin. It's so cute. I think we want something bigger. This one? I like it. You gotta lift it. <laughs> okay, close your eyes. Okay, I needed to give you one of your Christmas presents early because it, it makes sense today. You gonna hit me? No, I'm not gonna hit you. You gonna hit me? You wanna give me something? This is a chair, the little one. You're fine. You're fine. Okay, I've been making something for you, and I think you're really gonna like it. What is it? Okay, open your eyes. Do you know what it is? Calendar? An advent calendar, but... It's got beer in it. How do you know? Because it's the size of beer. Okay, but, so I got a bunch of different ones, but you don't know, get to know what they are until like the appropriate days. But today's December 1st, so you get the first one. Yay! Where's the hidden camera? There. <laughs> See, this took me a lot it? of days. You press on the corner and it should pop it. Whoa! Look, I made like a custom like insert holder for them all. Whoa. Merry Christmas! Yay. Okay, gifts was successful. <laughs> There's one missing already. And this is the tree situation. I'm gonna leave it overnight so it can drop before I decorate it, so that'll be next week's vlog, so stay tuned for that. But I just don't know if it's gonna stay here. I feel like it's competing with the fireplace for who gets to be in this corner, but I'll figure something out. Um, yeah. What's up, guys? I had a good little day. I went for lunch. I guess that's what we'd call it. 
uh, parallel, which is like, I think it's vegan, but it's like Middle Eastern food with the fam. It was so good, so colorful. I love eating colorful food. And now I'm going to head downtown to meet the crew and we're going to the Jingle Ball. Hopefully I'm not too late. That's okay though. Usually these shows start pretty late. I was gonna say, oh yeah, and I worked on my apartment today. I feel like I got a lot done. I'm feeling good about it. And I can't wait to show you guys um, my apartment decorating series. But yeah, I repotted some plants today, put up a shelf, feeling really good. My furniture comes soon too, so I've lived here for like literally a month without like anything except for pretty much a bed. So <laughs> time to get some furniture because that's like my lease is only a year that's like i'm already like one twelfth of the way through i feel like i need to like be settled already but anyways let's go downtown <laughs> toronto loves alessia cara <laughs> 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 